Seoul, a high-tech metropolis home to nearly 10 million people, is the mecca for all things eSports. Nearly 20 years on from the original StarCraft Brood War broadcasts, South Korea is still producing professional tournaments for the HD remastered version of StarCraft. On the 30th of November, the finals for the fourth season of the Korean StarCraft League took place, the pinnacle for professional brood war. No stranger to the finals, Jung Yun Jong, known to fans as Rain, the winner of the KSL Season 3, found himself once again in the grand finals of a premier StarCraft tournament. His opponent would be Lee Jae-ho, also known as Light, a Terran player whose career dates back 13 years, and he has been considered one of the best players in the scene for the entire time. This is his first ever appearance in a Premier Tournament Grand Final. In the first game, Rain wasted no time applying an immense amount of pressure on Light, denying him precious resources early in the game before building a blockade and trapping him within his base. Light has basically discounted the possibility of a Reaver, and that's pretty normal. Reavers wow. and Zealots and Dragoons come in here. Oh, and SCDs, oh. they just can't be pulled in time. And it looks like there's enough shuttles. He could probably do damage and maybe even pick up and go elsewhere here on the map. And that he will. He's going out. And with Light feeling the pressure of relentless raids upon his base, Rain moved in for one final attack. Uh, absolutely 100% Rain will dominate this position. And this could not have been a better stasis now that I look at it. I mean, yeah. the vessel, the tanks there. And what's great about this is not only, there it is, GG. Feeling the pressure, Light would not be deterred from achieving victory on StarCraft's biggest stage. In game two, he responded by building a huge army of vultures and tanks that allowed him to control the map and lay siege to Rain's base. Okay, that is an insanely large recall. Yeah, that's a big one. But great scanning. The mines have some good connections there as well. And I think he's going to hold no, that pretty well. I, I think Rain is not going to make it this time around. And GG. there it is. All right. GG. The champion wasn't going to roll over after just a single loss. In game three, Rain responded by breaking Light's defenses with a formidable army of ground forces supported by a fleet of carriers. In game four, both players focused on constructing formidable armies and engaging in skirmish after skirmish, fighting for control of the middle of the map. Terran pushes forward at this 12 o'clock location that has been contested this entire game. I think this is probably the moment where Terran will come out on top as Rain's supply is now below 120. Wow. And like, it just some amazing play. The interceptor's almost all gone. Even a couple drops of CG. CG. With the scores even at two maps apiece, Light finally took the lead in the series with a commanding victory in game five when he destroyed Rain's army in the open field. Look at that, he's got four Goliaths in here. How is that shuttle gonna do anything? See? Oh my Just God. Dead. Okay, uh, Light is gonna take this game. So GG. Sad. Now sitting on match point, facing down a win on StarCraft's biggest stage, Light was on the verge of achieving what he had failed to do for 13 years. Game six began with both players opting to build harassment-focused units, Light with his signature vultures, while Rain built himself the invisible Dark Templars. A scrappy series of skirmishes ensued, both players attacking while simultaneously defending their bases. Rain managed to eke out an advantage, but Light was hot on his heels, leading to one decisive career-defining moment. And again, I think even with a stasis on almost every single tank, I think <laughs> the reinforcements come in here. Yeah, even the best stasis might not oh do it Oh my here. god, oh and that my. was actually among the worst recalls you could have. And as this attack comes in, the amount of splash damage that's being dealt is just so insane. This could be just about it. The Zealots are almost scan. gone. A little bit of a late scan, Rain doing a little bit more damage, yeah. but ultimately it's just Dragoons. They got so many tanks, and we know that with the next wave coming in, GG, Light pushes through, and he did it, and wow, look at that. You can see how happy he is. After 13 years of giving it his all, but ultimately falling short,
After 13 years of playing at the absolute top level of professional competition, Light has finally broken through and earned his first championship title. The win earned Light $25,000 and capped off the year as the final KSL champion for 2019, putting him in contention for greatest StarCraft player in South Korea. Congratulations, Light. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with the amazing esport content from around the gaming globe. Only on Arena Esports.